When it comes to getting the best out of your push-ups, range of motion matters. And if your push-ups look like this, please unsubscribe. Just kidding guys, but doing partial reps like this means you're leaving a lot of potential gains on the table. In training, a full range of motion means your joints and muscles are moving through the greatest range possible to complete an exercise. And using full range of motion, or ROM, is one of the components of good form. For push-ups, that means chest to the floor, arms fully locked out at the top, all done under control. Unfortunately, I think form is often overlooked when it comes to the push-up. When I see someone doing a set of head bobs and calling them push-ups, I die a little inside. <laughs> So why is using full ROM so beneficial? In many studies comparing full versus partial movements, full ROM led to superior muscle and strength gains. This is because greater ROM recruits more muscle fibers, more parts of the muscles. If you're feeling a stretch in the pecs and the front delts at the bottom of the push-up, that's a good thing. This has been shown to increase muscle growth results, and trust me, you will know the difference when you feel the muscle soreness the next day. Not only that, but we can improve our flexibility and joint health by focusing on using full ROM during training. I love this because you're getting the muscle building and flexibility gains in the same exercise. For example, loosening tight pecs and shoulders with full ROM push-ups, or increasing lower body mobility by taking your squats as deep as possible. Throw pauses into your exercises to really relish that stretch and add a strength challenge. So with those benefits in mind, why do we still see people perform push-ups with such bad ROM? If you're dealing with a past or current injury, or you're just starting out at an older age, it's totally understandable that your range of motion will be limited. But shockingly, it's common to see experienced people with rushed sloppy form and in my opinion it comes down to ego they want to impress others or gratify themselves by doing lots of push-ups if they tried with full rom they wouldn't be able to get nearly as many if you truly want to maximize the muscle and strength building potential of the push-up full rom is the key my friends ditch the high volume sloppy half reps now you might be saying but jack when i tried to do chest to floor I can't do push-ups. My friend, you can do push-ups. You just need to alter your mindset. Let me explain. If a beginner sees someone doing a heavy bench press, they won't say, I can't do the bench press. They know they can do the movement, they just need to reduce the weight. Just like the bench press, push-ups are a resistance exercise, only we're using our body weight and gravity as the resistance instead of physical weights. So if you can't do the standard push-up yet, no worries just drop the weight. Which means incline push-ups, the steeper the incline, the easier it becomes. Or if you're a bit stronger, knee push-ups. Using that full range of motion, bringing your chest to your hands with whatever variation you do. You build up your strength for greater resistances like the standard push-up. Of course, aiming to improve your body composition is always an advantage for calisthenics exercises. I would much rather you do 10 perfect incline push-ups than 10 sloppy half rep standard push-ups. Any beginners watching, I encourage you to take the time to perfect your form now so that you can be stronger later. For more calisthenics training tips, check out the playlist. If you'd like to take your physique and fitness to the next level this year, I offer custom calisthenics programs, link in the description. Thanks for watching guys, stay vital. Don't let me catch you doing half reps, because I'll be watching.